Okay, so here's the two parts that I think I um, didn't know too much about, and I put a little thought into it again, and I think, possibly, that, remember I was saying, hmm, what's this for? I think if you put um, this rod into there, basically, this swing nut is going to go back into the bottom here, and this, uh, the main rod for the drill press is now going to be mounted, the base will be now be mounted to the wall. And then you'll be able to slide the drill press up and down the um, working rod here. And that would keep the drill in a vertical position. So you can imagine mounting the base to the wall. This would stick out 90 degrees to the wall. And your drill could be pointed in any direction in 360. But that would give you, you'd be able to drill down anywhere in that length. So if you had uh, multiple holes to drill and homemade clamps or something like that, that would give you a, uh, it's I guess like a compound drill press. You know, like a compound sliding compound miter saw, but it would be a drill press. Same idea. And uh, what was the other thing I was thinking? Um, Oh, right, the, the whole drill, the way it is now, when you undo the swing nut, can rotate on that um, working shaft 360 degrees. So you could actually drill out here on the workbench, not even over top of those. And also, this um, working plate can be swung out just by undoing that wing nut. You can go up and down or turn it 360 and get it right out of your way and put your working project directly on that uh, base plate. So those are the two ideas I think that I missed on the first video and it's uh, that kind of completes it off. I didn't want to redo the whole video.